Lift yourself up on your feet. Let's get it on. Lift yourself up on your feet. Let's get it on. Welcome back to The Carpenter's Apprentice. Today, we have something very, very exciting to share with you. My good friend, Keith Simpson. He is the owner and founder of Squeezers on 317 ProBant, and they got some awesome stuff going on, so I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Keith, welcome to The Carpenter's Apprentice. Why don't you come and sit down with me, my friend? Please have a seat. First and foremost, I want to thank you for joining us, but I got to say, when I first heard that there was a juicing place here in San Antonio, and then I came in and I, I met you and you're super humble and everything and all that other cool stuff, I just knew that this was a place that people could come, not just to get uh, nutrition for their bodies, but for their spirit too. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and uh, how you created that kind of vibe within uh, Squeezers? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm born and raised in San Antonio, Texas, an uh, inner city kid, basically uh, grew up around different projects around San Antonio. Uh, through basketball, I was able to travel the world, see different things, uh, get a college education and things like that. Um, ended up coming back to San Antonio about three years ago um, after coaching basketball for a while and uh, brought with me Squeezers, which I founded in McAllen, Texas, uh, or the Valley. Um, and, and, McAllen in particular but um, so I what my vision was was in McAllen there was a 38% obesity rate wow yeah which is pretty astonishing to me all as well so uh, I saw a niche for uh, you know some type of health healthy way to get you know more in particular the, the kids the youth because I was coaching at a high school there so I wanted to you know, test the kids first. Uh, Could you see that 38% statistic reflected in the children at the school? Oh, I, absolutely. And uh, so that's where I felt it the most. So I was like, why don't I try to create something with uh, some nutritional value and taste good at the same time? Well, I got introduced to it uh, for my wife. Uh, she was a uh, avid vegan and uh, vegetarian um, back and forth. Uh, and she had always tried to get me to ride that wave of, uh, you know, eating uh, a little bit more unconsciously, more so than anything. She mm -hmm. wasn't trying to, you know, change me from eating meat or anything like that. She just wanted me to be conscious about the things I was putting in my body. So I took heed to it whenever I was uh, coming towards the end of my uh, playing career, career. And I also uh, wanted to, you know, stay healthy. So I tried juicing for a while. It was great. It worked for me. And I thought I shared that information with the children that I was coaching at the time also. What was the thing that uh, most stood out to you about juicing as opposed to, I don't know, like let's say blending or any of the other thousands of uh, health tips or things that you could do? Right, so with juicing, what I like the most that you get instant nutritional value. Yeah. You know, it goes straight from, lit, um, from actual fruit solid or vegetable solid into straight liquid, right? So the processing part of digestion and getting into your bloodstream and all that stuff, you, you kind of bypass all of that with just a liquid form uh, intake. And when you see people come in here, what kind of people are coming in and what are they saying about the juices? We're getting all kinds of people from locals around Southtown to, uh, you know, people who look us up on Yelp or Instagram or Facebook or what have you from all over the city. And we're getting kids in here that are, you know, in their teens. We're getting um, parents who, uh, you know, have kids who are younger. They both can enjoy something here. We have the older crowd who really care about what they're putting into their body now more so than ever because, you know, they want to live a not only a long life but a healthier life, yeah. a quality life. And that's what I try to push also is, like, we all want to live a long life, but we also want to live a quality life. So we get ranges literally from birth to your exit. Wow. Literally. So when you said that you were playing basketball beforehand, did you ever, because you said that you started juicing towards the tail end, did you ever wonder or wish that you had done it more in the beginning? Oh, man, absolutely. I, I'm telling you, just um, the recovery factor, you know, that's what got me the most was I was going into training camps, and I don't know if you know, and, um, but training camps is probably the hardest part of the season. Well, for the record, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so training camp is probably the hardest part of the season because you are having about, you know, three workouts per day, 
Uh, two of them are hard practices that run about two and a half hours each. Each? Each practice. Holy smokes. Plus you're getting, you know, some type of weight training in between. So you, you're working out about three times a day, every day. Um, so recovery time from when you finish working out to the next time you have a workout has to be fast. Yeah. I wasn't recovering that fast because of the way I was eating and I didn't know it. So I wasn't conscious of it, right? Um, and when I discovered juicing, I tried it for a week, and I kid you not, I, I mean, the, res, the results were instantaneous, like right away. I felt it, uh, you know, the next day when I woke up, felt a little bit more energized. Uh, muscle recovery was, I wasn't as sore. I was still sore, but not just, you know, just the ache and ache, super ache and pain. And I found out later that it was the ginger that I was taking uh, really um, kind of deflates your joints. So, you know, the swelling that you have in most of your elbow joints and knee joints uh, kind of gets uh, taken down a little bit with the ginger. So, I, and then I started to research for myself uh, more and more and more. And then that's how I came into really wanting to share the information that I had obtained with everyone else. It always surprises me when somebody has a dream and makes it come to fruition the way you have with squeezers because... Uh... Well, it takes kind of a bullheadedness to get it done, right. you know? I mean, a, a relentless attitude. No quit. Right, We like the um, horses have the blinders on. Yes. Right? We, we can't, you have to filter everything that comes to you, right? You have to filter, um, you know, the outsiders coming in telling you why, you know, why are you doing this? Uh, my grandma, for one, right? My grandma <laughs> is one of the ones that is old school thinking, you know, you're just gonna eat rabbit food for the rest of your life. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, grandma, I'm just, you know, I don't wanna eat bacon this this time, or, you know, I don't want fried foods this time, you know? I wanna kind of moderate what I'm t intaking. And, uh, you know, it, it's taking a while to get to her, but she's starting to, uh, you know, change and shift her ways. What was the biggest, um, the biggest thing that you just had to put those blinders on and just get back to work? You couldn't let it stop you. Um, as far as business goes? Yeah, for squeezers. Well, um, I think that, uh, so like I said, 38% obesity rate in the, a small town, right? Right. You got, uh, you know, the culture is, you know, breakfast tacos, then you have, you know, a huge uh, lunch, and then, uh, uh, you know, dinner also is, is huge too, full of meats, uh, you know, porks or, you know, you know, different things that could probably weigh you down. The biggest challenge was trying to change the mentality of saying that it's not a diet, but a lifestyle choice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you, you got, you're not only trying to tell people the benefits of the things that they're putting in their body, but also change the mentality of which they're taking, what they're taking in. And why do you want people to change their mentality? Well, because if your mind changes, I think the, bo the body follows suit, right? Um, you know, our, our brain is the most powerful muscle in our, our body. So if you change the mentality of people first, everything else is going to follow suit. And I, you know, it's really hard at first getting them to, to down 20 or 16, even 16 ounces of our Hawaiian, right? Which is kale, romaine, and pineapple juice. The pineapple juice is pure, purely uh, pressed, fresh, right in front of you. So it's a, a you know, it's at its natural, most natural form of sugar, plus the uh, proteins that you get it from the uh, kale and, um, you know, nutrients that you get it from the romaine. And so it's a blend of everything and tastes really good also. So that's the uh, angle that I took, right? I, I wanted to tell you that this green drink it's, yeah, I know it may look green, but it tastes good. Give yeah. it a try. Here's a shot of it. Once they have that shot of it, they're like, wow, this isn't that bad. All right, I'll take 16 ounces of it. And then they have it that day, and they come back the next day and say, wow, I feel so much better than I did the day before. Can I have another one of those? <laughs> you know? And it just slowly but surely changes the mentality of people when they catch on to it. And uh, if you go down to the valley now, we started in uh, 2012 in the valley. And I want to say there's probably a uh, juice bar within a uh, two-mile range each way you can go. You're kidding me. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What What about the juice? Or I'm sorry, let me ask this a different way. Uh, what is it about seeing people take charge of their own nutrition and develop their own health uh, gives you any kind of satisfaction? Well, when, um, so when people start to ask, well, how do you do this? What juice do you use? 
you know, stuff like that. Um, when people come to me and say, Keith, I bought a juicer and, you know, uh, we're, we're trying this recipe at home or, you know, my, my I was having really bad, uh, you know, heartburn before my heartburn has, has went down or my cholesterol isn't as high as it was before or I'm not taking the pills that I was taking before because of not only juicing, but with juicing comes the lifestyle choices, yeah. right? Yes. We start to work out or, you know, we start to want to go for longer walks or we start thinking about what we're eating more so and that's the more uh, being more conscious part. Those things all together collectively give me the satisfaction that, you know, that I want to have or that I'm, I'm not, may, maybe not searching for, but, you know, it just comes naturally, you know? Yeah. You know, that's the part I appreciate the most. Listen, folks, anytime a small business can also find a way to drive community and drive change within that community, you got to be in favor of it. That's why I'm a big fan of the folks over at Squeezers, 317 Pro Band. Come by and visit them sometime. Keith, it's been such a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.